is for someone out there. Attitude. Attitude can make all the difference in whether your life is going to go in a positive direction or a negative direction. So remember, check your attitude because that may be what's hindering your future. Kamish Monica, everybody. And this message is for someone out there. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Las Vegas Tribune News, local news, and online music and entertainment. My name is Kamisha Monica. Everybody. If you ain't here, you ain't nowhere. Now, look, I'm back with another show, everybody. And this week, I don't know, this week, I think I realized that, you know what? Doing nothing can lead to being overwhelmed. <laughs> you know, I say, how, how, how is that possible, that doing nothing? Well, doing nothing means you're not accomplishing anything. And I don't know if every moment of your life you have to be accomplishing something. All I'm saying is that don't drive yourself into slumps. I had a friend this week that came to me, and they were really depressed. They were, like, super depressed because they felt they were doing nothing. So then they became overwhelmed by depression. So you know what? Get out. Get out of the house. Even if, even if it's to go for a walk, don't lead yourself to doing nothing. And I'm not talking about people having their typical day off, you know, and enjoying themselves. I'm talking about very, very getting into this emotional state where your whole life begins to fall apart. Don't allow yourself to get in slumps. And I know mental health is something that I mentioned on previous shows, but I'm mentioning it today because... Again, because it keeps coming around. So everybody, check your mental health. Try to get out of it, out of that slump, and um, also do like a mirror adjustment with yourself. Some affirmations and uh, check your attitude. All right, everybody, moving on with the show. All right. I only got one thing for you to do in Las Vegas this week. Just one. Wind speeds up to 120 miles per hour. You can defy gravity. 22 foot vertical wind tunnel. Not a parachute, not an airplane. It's not anything like that. Actually, it's Vegas indoor skydiving. Now, it's a pricey bill on this for $120. But I think it's an experience that you could take back with you if you are a tourist. And another thing, if you're a resident, this is something that you could probably treat your family out to. I know it's pricey, but the experience, once in a lifetime, it may be worth $120 to be blown in the air. And, you know, actually, I'm planning on doing it next week, so that's why I'm telling you. I might... I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to just get video for when I do it. All right, everybody, let me get on with these social updates because I got some, I'm not, I'm not going to call it like T. That's so last year. I'm not even going to call it coffee. It's just social updates. All right, check this out. Have you ever heard of Ken Dita Oris? Well, it's another superbug that I think you need to know about. A superbug right here in Nevada, the state of Nevada. You might say, what does that have to do with me, Miss Monica? Well, you know these bugs travel because people travel, you know? And I think it's a social update that you guys need to know because we have dealt with so much over the last couple of years of these man-made or whatever kind of viruses and stuff. I I just got to let you know what's going on. Well, check this out. It's a fungus. It's invasive infections. It dwells in the fold of the skin without making a person ill. I felt that a lot of, a little bit contradictory in this. I don't know why. But a new state regulation said that the drug we needed, they need to expose the drug because touching contaminated surfaces and equipment, this is how it spreads, okay? It's drug resistant. 
So I guess like what I'm reading from that, if something is drug resistant, that means there's nothing that can help you with that or they haven't found the right one yet. Allegedly. I'm just going to say that just because. <laughs> well, this fungus, it can invade your bloodstream, your brain, your heart, and any other organs. And this was reported by the Las Vegas Review Journal. I just think it's something that you need to know. Moving on from the heebie-jeebies, that kind of stuff, I, it just get me going. All right. Are you ready for this? A 16-foot, a 16-foot long creature that has been dubbed a dragon was discovered. It dates back to 250. 240 million years. They're saying it's a real live, it's a real dragon because of its neck, the length of its neck. Now, the National Museum in Scotland, they call it the Dinocephalosaurus. <laughs> I got that. Orientalis. I've been working on my English. Now, I thought this was really interesting because we see a lot of movies, a lot of kid movies and things like that that talk about dragons and people act like these are myth, mythical creatures. But here we are, the museum of the National Museum of Scotland has actually discovered a dragon. I don't know. That would be interesting to see. And they discovered ancient limestone deposits in southern China. So I find that, you know, as a kid growing up, we all are told these fairy tale stories, but uh, I guess we can say now dragons really do exist. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Now this is very interesting. Speaking of China, speaking of China, we're gonna move over to China and the black market. China and the black market. Allegedly, China has become the largest exporter of black market drugs, including ecstasy and molly. What? Now, you know ecstasy is like popular party scene clubs. I know people do drugs. It kind of looks like candy. It has psychedelic little imprints and all that on it. So, you know, it might be easy to pick up a few and... No problem. And I know being in the entertainment world... In the industry, there are lots of drugs and those things are around. So I don't judge anybody for doing anything. All I'm saying is be careful because this drug, just, just to let you know, powder or pill form, it can lead to liver, kidney, brain, and heart failure. And I was told by a friend that, you know, in a party it was being passed around. But I thought, I'm not going to tell you not to do it. I mean, I could be this righteous individual. I've never tried it before, but just take care of yourself out there while you're partying and have a good time. That's all I'm going to say. No judgment passed here, and I assure you on that. But when I found out those things, I thought, yeah, that's a little scary. And two, something interesting you might not know about ecstasy, it was actually used in, psycholog it was in testing for psychological warfare. What? That's it for the social updates. We'll be right back with the state of black American culture. <laughs> Hi, my name is Edgar Alejandro. I'm the co-founder of Rising Again Productions. So we've been here in Vegas producing films for the past couple of years, and we've seen our fair share of studios. We've worked in our fair share of studios. And to be honest, WWDB TV has been our favorite by far. John is so welcoming. Uh, the space is wonderful. It's, it's perfect for what we need. We've had rehearsals here. We've had callbacks here. We've had table reads here. So if you're a Vegas creative, or really just a creative coming into Vegas, definitely check out this space, chat with John. I think you'll find that this studio has everything that you'll need as well. All right, we're back with the state of black American culture. And, you know, this week the topic is very simple. It's Black History Month. And I watched an interview with Morgan Freeman, and he talked about 
Black History Month being limited to one month. Black history being limited to one month. And I thought, I never really thought about it like that. I thought it was just celebrating our culture, uh, giving people a, a reason to learn, to educate, to get engulfed in a culture for a month. But a statement he made, he talked about in so many words, why is our history being limited to one month? And the guy he was interviewing with was a Jewish guy. And he asked him, you know, uh, the guy was like basically saying to him, you know, you, I mean, what's the problem with that? And he asked, and he told him, well, your history, do you have a month for your history? And then the guy was like, no. And then he was like, well, then, your history is taught every month. You continue on with your history. And I thought that is a valid point. But I think it's also a valid point for a group like black Americans or African Americans or ha however you consider yourself. Um, I think it's also a great point that even if our history is being taught within a month or people can really dive in, it's still special. It's still a special moment for a community that has gone through so much. So I agree with him. You know, we shouldn't be limited to one month, but that's also up to the community to keep teaching. You know, even outside that, even the entire year, it's, it's up to us to share our story, not for everybody else to share it. They can share it too, but it's also up to us to keep our traditions and our history in the faces of people who may not know anything about us except what other people are portraying. And for me, I'm going to end that with that's the state of black American culture. All right. All right. Moving on to who got fucked. First, we must ask ourselves. One, what is going on here? Two, is the actions justified? And three, is this even real? Northwest England, you're in the hot seat this week. Two life sentences were handed down to two 16-year-olds with a prison term, a minimum prison term of 20 to 20 and 22 years. Two teenagers, and I can give their name because the judge lifted the reporting restriction. So I'm going to be fair. I'm going to try to uphold how we do things here. But this judge, particularly over there in Northwest, Northwest England, lifted the reporting restriction. Two teens, Scarlett Jenkinson and Eddie Ratcliffe, both 16 at the time, stabbed Brianna Gay, a transgender teen, 28 times in the head, neck, chest, back, in broad daylight after luring her to a park in a town of Warrington. The judge called it sadistic, and the secondary motivation was hostility towards Brianna because she was transgender. Why'd y'all do that to Brianna? You know, I often talk about judgment being passed, but this is, the morality of it is sickening. And, you know, once we get to the point of starting accepting human beings for who they are, I think the world actually will be a better place. But we have things, we have these things in the world that are, giving people this idea that they can go out and commit these crimes against people just because they don't agree with their lifestyle. You don't have to agree. It's their life. That's all I'm saying. But honestly, she did state that they may be able to get out of jail if they're determined in the future they're not a threat to society. But I believe the punishment fits the crime. You killed a young girl, a young teenager, because she was transgender. Honestly, you're totally out of line. 
it's sad too. It's it's really sad. And to the transgender community, you know, I do I don't want to say I pray for you. I just want to say that, you know, you go through a lot. And I can't say I can relate cuz my 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 identity, my expression and all of that is in one space. But I understand what it's like to feel different and for people not to like you for that difference. All right, everybody, we'll be back with Network Music World Artists Song of the 21st Century. Make sure you click in. <laughs> Hi, I'm Judy Mario. I invite you to watch my show, What's Your Story with Judy Mario on WWDB TV, where I interview celebrities, doctors, authors, professional speakers, and just plain folks like you and me. So watch my show and also watch some of the other great shows that we have here on WWDB TV. And you can also find us on Roku. Never Music World. Artists, so long. In the 21st century, goes to network music world artists. So long. Of the 21st century, goes to. Don't play with me. With lyrics like, all that matter is that you treat me right. Give me all the things I need that money can't buy. With over 16.6 million subscribers on YouTube. Hot 100 singles of 2001 Billboard charts. Label. Epic, released in 2000 from the album J-Lo. Songwriter. David Sharp. Greg Lawson. Georgette Franklin. Jeremy Monroe. Emile D. Harris. Producers. Rick Work. Richie Jones, Corey Rooney, Network Music World Artists, Sorg of the 21st Century goes to Jennifer Lopez for Love Don't Cost a Thing. Thank you for your contributions to music, and you are our Network Music World Artists, Sorg of the 21st Century. Remember, life is good, it gets better with music. We'll be right back for our closing thoughts. Introducing See Us Now Staffing, led by yours truly, Laura Nowlin. As the founder and president, I bring over 17 years of expertise in sourcing for talent, building winning teams of professionals, marketing, and workforce development. At See Us Now Staffing, we're not just a staffing agency. We're your strategic partner in building a winning team of professionals for your business. My passion for community service extends to connecting entrepreneurs with local resources. Recognized by the Small Business Administration as the 2022 Nevada Family Owned Business of the Year, we're not just changing the workforce landscape, we're defining it. Before I go, a thought just crossed my mind. Attitude. People don't get it, but we must all learn that your attitude, how you present yourself, it, it matters. It matters, and it's going to matter for the rest of your life. And it may determine how your life even turns out, even though the things around also can determine how your life will turn around. But I say this, you can spend the same amount of energy being negative or being positive. Choose positivity. It's a higher vibration. And two, treat people with kindness. We're still human beings at the end of the day. And at the core, I guess we're all searching for the same thing. And that's to be loved. I hope you guys are searching for the same thing. <laughs> well, to be loved to be respected, and to be heard. Look, whether it's the state of black American culture or it's network music world artists and we're honoring you, either way, we hear you, we see you. And that's it. That's all. Until we meet again.
I'll see you guys next week. Deuces. Ha, <laughs>